Okay, I'm here at the mall right now and at my store. Yes, I have a store in Hanover Mall in Massachusetts. It's called Oriental Wonders. It's been up, it's been here since like May. May. Yeah. And, uh, you can see that there's stores and stuff behind me. And I'm still recovering from, if I had some kind of like virus or cold or whatever, it wasn't applying to it. I already got that like earlier, like in like January or February. And, um, got the tonsillitis, which is kind of sort of like makeshift cured aspirin, but I still ended up getting a sinusitis. So I got a sinusitis, and it's been pretty bad. Look at crap on this camera. I got a little bit of crap on every camera in the never. And, yeah, I still kind of lost most of my voice, but I was still drinking a Chinese herb called Zahai, which is like a seed that you put in your, in like hot water or tea. Preferably tea without caffeine, which will give you more fun, mucus. And then this herb actually helps your throat to heal and your voice to come back. I don't know how that works exactly, because when I checked out like science, and like throat cough med medicine stuff about people like doing like debunking stuff. They said that when you drank certain things, it doesn't do anything for your larynx or your voice, whatever. But for some reason, this Chinese herb it does work. I can actually like talk right now. And it's what November 15th, 2009. It should actually be really busy, right? I've actually only had maybe about four customers or four groups of customers all day on its own. It's 2.16. And only one person bought something and bought a lucky bamboo stick for a dollar and six cents. And I haven't seen anything else. Um, I had people come in asking me to get portraits done. Like a drawing, and then when they saw the price on the price list, they freaked out. And they originally like that's for pastel, pastel portraits. And the color of Kafmar is pastel, so it's black, black and white charcoal black. But she originally was like painting. I wanted to like die laughing. I'm like, you really want to paint? Like you can't afford that, and nobody wants to do that. So. Like the look of that, and then once you saw the actual price, I was like, "Are you?" I was like, "She, she freaked out." So, yeah. I'm looking out in the hallway, and I don't see any customers in the mall at all. I don't know if you can hear it, but now they today they started playing Christmas music. They usually don't start doing that until Black Friday. Not that exciting. I believe it's not even close yet. Um, we're barely even in the middle of the month. I don't even think we're at the middle of the month yet, are we? It's barely even there. Yeah. I hear like a little kid or something. And, oh, I see two people. Let's play it. Oh, oh no, maybe they're employees. Small employees. Um, I don't know if you can hear any weird like droning sound stuff. So push cards. Um, there's these push cards in the mall. There's people who come in from Israel and they open up businesses and they work actually illegally. They go, I think they go around the system and they don't have work visas, but they can sell stuff. I think it's because it's like they're a business owner or whatever. I don't know, it's like a big thing or whatever, which might actually be entirely illegal, but whatever. And they buy like toys from China for other times it's products from Israel. And they um, try to do like demonstrational type stuff and sell them here in the mall at a profit. They usually they have different tactics to try and get people to buy stuff. Um, some of them are good and some of them are not. Um, we usually also used to get like Turkish people, but I haven't seen any Turkish people in doing business since probably 2007. Um, 
know, for the food people, things that not small in Latin India, I feel like um, Indian business and uh, merchants tend to just do like free markets now. Um, yeah, a lot of international people. <laughs> um, American economy is built on the backs of, or the front, of uh, immigrants. Although I don't know if any of the real people count as immigrants, and that's exactly what they're They're sort of like here for the season, and then they're going to go and take them with it. Yeah, that's how it is. Um, no, I don't have anything against them. Actually, there's plenty of times where you had the local people there from the real food and that. And, uh, yeah. Today, I know this is like such a boring vlog, right? Okay? Today I had some duck grape leaves. That's what I had some yesterday. And chicken spring rolls. <laughs> Got some of DJs. Wholesale. Um, I don't think DJ smells really good. Chinese. Anything. It's not really Chinese. Like, whatever they call, they call it Chinese or something. I don't know. But so it's pretty really okay. Um, the stuff grape leaves great. I like that weird grape taste with the dill and the, I don't know, whatever the leaves taste. <laughs> I like it though. I had been wanting some grape leaves for a while. Um, but we just didn't, um, we just didn't sell it around here. Um, yeah, we finally had Girl Scouts on Saturday, and so of course I took my kid that was sick, and he had to walk in the rain, my kid, and he did like t-shirt, and I think the leader's idea, like in her mind, about how to do the t-shirt, because you don't have uniform, um, I think in her mind it seemed like a good idea, <laughs> we tried to do it, it didn't turn out that way, oh well, um, and as it turns out, the paint that we used on the shirt is glitter paint and it dries clear. <laughs> um, and what uh, I suggested, or I mentioned maybe extending the Girl Scout um, time from one hour to like a little longer, or much longer, whatever. And she seemed to think that was a good idea, so I think we might actually have an extra half hour now. Because I don't, I don't think one hour is enough. She said she did two hours before and it was too long, but I don't know. We have kind of a bigger group now. And I just, it always feels like, oh, now it's over. It's like a or whatever. But, whatever. Um, yeah, I, I do like going to the Girl Scout thing. I just go there, hang out, help out. I can't help it. Like, I was a Girl Scout before when I was a kid. So, I like doing helpful things. And if it goes well, um, maybe let my daughter bridges into brownies because she's a baby right now. Um, I'm thinking about maybe I might want to try to be a trade leader also. And, because there's actually a lot of girls in our trade. And if I could do, be like a trade leader, um, because I noticed the Girl Scout house, people don't use it that much. And I thought, well, maybe I could try to get it, like, to do, like, an after school, like, homework program or something for the girls, so they could just go to the Girl Scout house and, like, they could do their homework, um, and help them to study. And then, um, then they could, like, play or something. And I think it's a good idea. Like, my kid doesn't have anything to play with, so that'd be a good idea. Plus, you could practice, like, your, Girl Scout principles of being nice and good and everything through play by playing fair and nice and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. You know, if it was, if it was most people in the mall, I believe there's a lot of like the waterfall pictures and a lot of other electrical things to get attention. But people don't even always come into the store. Come on, bum, bums me out. I just hope they can make that the, um, whatchamacallit, that's the sweat that I did, so, so, yay. And, um, I guess that's a good day or something.